Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Finder. My name is Dave and today we are reviewing Catapult Kingdoms. Let's go. So as a disclaimer, this is hot off the Kickstarter lot and I backed it, just the standard edition for two players. But because I made a preview vi uh, video for Vesuvius Media, they upgraded my edition to the all-inclusive for the two player. The only one that's better is the four player um, variant of everything. So I got all the expansions and I'm going to be talking about them in this upcoming week trust me and based on how everything goes i might just upgrade my from the two player to the four player but today let's not get ahead of ourselves um thank you vesuvius for you know supporting the channel in this way so i can look at everything now this did get picked up by yellow and it's going to be under a different name but it is going to be the same game i have catapult kingdoms and this is a two player catapult dexterity game where you're building your own castle it's two players and you're trying to take these catapults and some cards some powers card powers uh to knock over all five of your opponent's people so the hit points essentially and you're taking these boulders that you've seen earlier in the video and shooting them back and forth and doing that until somebody has knocked over everybody. That's pretty much the simplest explanation of this game. And let's go ahead and get into the production right now because that's what you want to see, right? Let's go. Okay, so this is what you get in the box and wow, 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 this is some good stuff. Now the bricks, are a hard plastic but they got a little bit of give to them uh, I can't really explain it but it's nice because they're going to be durable and they're going to need to be yeah because you're gonna be tossing boulders at them and that is for both type of brick here now I will say the arches are different uh, they have more of a brick archway and this one's more abstracted and of course the same material there and then we have the boulders here. These are the best part. They're kind of squishy, they're hollow in the middle, nice rubber, and they're not gonna hurt if they hit you, but they are heavy enough to knock those bricks down, though I'm not showing a good example right now. Now, we also have the figurines, just like any miniature. These are like fashioned after the um, knights in uh, the Monty Python movie, and they're pretty nice detailed well enough nothing special though uh, these ones I do like a little bit more you can really tell that with the gray um, color that the detail pops a little bit more and I like the shield now I do think because these guys have a little bit more mass to them they might fall a tad bit easier but nothing significant that's going to play too much of a part now the catapults they come with uh, rubber bands, you have a few replacements, and you just easily put them over each end like this, and then they're ready to go. And whoop, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be holding on to them. They ha have some power to them. You have replacements for rubber bands. You have these um, markers here that will allow you to gauge certain things when you're building. The cards are, I think, a little bit bigger. Um, linen finish, very nice, basic card look though. Uh, nothing too special. And then you get the player boards, which are um, just a thin piece of cardboard here. And I do want to show off the insert because everything kind of fits into the boxes here. And the art is spectacular. Very, very charming. So that's what you get with the game. Very high quality, thick plastic and very detailed stuff. Now, let me show you how to play. So you want to start off with your player board and your catapult and your deck of cards about one and a half meters apart, which is about two full Migos. So once you've measured everything, now the fun part comes with creating your castle. Just a few stipulations that you have to follow. You have to place all your figures on a brick. Now if you don't, if you place them on the actual map here, they have to be within this um, brick length of one of the castle pieces and you have to use every one of your bricks and they can't be all cattywampus You have to um, make them straight and that is really the only stipulation after that you place all your five of your figures and You get your four boulders. You have your catapult and then you're ready 
So you want to make sure when you're shooting though, you keep the catapult on the very side of your castle, no closer, no further. And you can aim in any direction, but it has to be on the side of your structure here. The turns are going to go back and forth and each one of your turns is going to be broken down into four different phases. The tactic phase is where you can play one of these cards here which can help you out. And then you're going to take the aiming phase, it's where you'll take your catapult here and aim it. And then you'll load with a squishy boulder here and you'll pull back and fire and you're not going to hit every time and then you're going to do a cleanup phase so if any of these blocks were to fall off the board completely you would take it and remove it from the board if any of these uh, people here which again consider them as hit points if they're tilted or at a jar at all from like being straight up and down then they are removed from the board too then your turn is over the other person will take their turn, tactic, aim, fire, clean up, and then you'll go back to your turn back and forth. And you're basically just trying to fire away, aiming it at the structure and knocking it over like that. Ooh, what a good shot, Dave. Now, there are different ways that you can kind of aim here. I sometimes hold the bottom here and then aim it this way, or you can just hold it the bottom and then just fling it this way but you'll get the hang of it just aim and try not to hit your cat or hit your cat if it's in the way and sometimes you're going to lose these boulders if you have a place where they can sneakily get under now the cards I'll slightly go over right here so the rebuild here is basically you'll take three blocks and put them back onto your castle uh, the trader uh, is you'll take control of one of your opponent's weapons and fire it so literally you'll take this and you'll fire it at your opponent's castle straight out boom it's really powerful so make sure to use it wisely and then you have march move up to three of your troops that are in play from the box so you can get people back hit points back thief your opponent holds up all your action cards and basically uh, they'll take a card from you rapid sh uh, shot here will allow you to get extra shot and twin attacks duplicates the effect of the card that was already played and those are the, the actual effects for the tactics. But you'll again continue to try to knock over every one of your opponent's people. And then the person that has a person last standing is the winner of the game. Watch out, kitty cat. So, what do I think about this game? Let me tell you. So that is how you play Catapult Kingdoms and everything with the production and what does it all add up to. It gets a score of 90 and that is the Game Vine Must Play It Award. And yes, I m might be a little biased here because I love dexterity games and there's not many Catapult games out there. And the ones that are out there like Coconuts and stuff like that win my heart over. So take that with a grain of salt, though I do think the game is fantastic. Fantastic. Even if you're not a dexterity fan, I think it rates up there in the high 80s because it's such a welcoming and introductory game into the hobbyist kind of board games and it's a pretty much a genuine toy factor, a well-produced genuine toy factor and there are minute details that you really need to pay attention. Each one of the um, teams, their structure, their, their, their bricks, they're even different in how they build and are shaped and I love that attention to detail. And these things are going to stand the test of time, though you might lose a boulder if you don't block off little holes or anything that these things can get into. So there is a minor downfall and you have to have a decent amount of space because these things fling the boulders, but it's so much fun. And it just, you, you, it's so simple to explain and play, like the turns are over back and forth, back and forth, play a card, don't play a card, uh, draw back up of course when you play a card. but. Once you have honed in on how you, you, you use these catapults, because it does take some learning a little bit and some feeling around to see how they really do fling these boulders, you track on and you start taking these buildings down and it's so much fun. And the way that it's replayable is how you can test out different structures and different ways that you can keep your troops safe. And of course, there will be expansions coming out for this, Well, they're already out and I'm gonna be taking a look at them but that's going to keep it fresh and new too. But this right here, just the base set, it's just a two player game and that's probably my main frowny face here, 
but I think kids and adults are going to love this game alike and I think it's going to be a hit around the household and if you like dexterity games and or catapults like catapults and um, cr crossbows like that old game this is a shoe and absolutely is going to put a smile on anyone's face who is a hobbyist type board gamer who likes that light kind of dexterity game. This is such a winner with me and I can't wait to look at more of this game, the expansion. So stay tuned uh, for those videos. And again, Vesuvius, thank you so much for helping us with these uh, videos by supporting us. Thank you so much by nature for clicking like and subscribe. We are getting higher and higher in this subscription list. We're going for 15,000. So until next time that I see ya, my name is Dave and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. Come join me in the next review. But until then, you heard it here on the game fine. I'm out. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.